Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Masiska. I'm an emergency room physician and I'm a father of four Lancers. Hey guys, my name is Josh Mahaney. I'm a senior here at Western and I'm also blessed to be the president of Future Doctors of America Club. Um, and I'd really like to hear, and along with all of you, what Dr. Mike Masiska has to say. Thanks, Josh. And, you know, it's great to share this with you guys, but um, it's a really serious topic. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. I think there's been so much emphasis on uh, COVID, um, but probably the second biggest looming public health threat right now uh, that we face in our community yeah. is this critical uh, national blood shortage that really is impacting us right here at all of our hospitals in LA, San Bernardino, and Riverside County. So, you know, probably for decades, uh, if not longer, we have never seen such a shortage of blood. And what does that look like? It means that normally our hospital would have 40 to 60 units of blood of type O uh, that we can give to patients in an emergency. Right now, we're down at times to maybe six, 10 units and sometimes we'll need up to 40 or more units to keep a single patient alive. So, you know, we've had times where all the blood in our hospitals is shipped out to patients, like so that there's none on the shelf. So if that next patient were to come in, they could potentially die as a result of us not having that blood. And so, you know, who does that impact? Well, imagine, you know, you get in a car accident and a young person and they come into the emergency room and sometimes the only thing that we can give somebody to stay alive is blood and it could be you know a couple units it might take 40 units mm -hmm. and if we get multiple car accident victims you know we could end up in a situation where people could live but because we don't have this resource um, we just aren't able to keep them you know alive so why are things so short well with schools being closed down you know in, in our counties 30 percent of the blood volume that hospitals use comes from high school drives. Um, you know, churches and other groups that gather, you know, we're contributing heavily to this as well. But 30% with, with school closures and, and even ongoing with the latest surge, blood drives have been canceled. Mm -hmm. And so it's really crippled, you know, our ability to, to get, you know, blood and to give it to our patients. So, you know, we're, we're really um, excited. I know, so here's your call yeah. to action. Tell them what yeah. they do. Yeah, here's a huge opportunity for Western for Western's family. Um, we have a huge opportunity to impact this issue um, and, make, and make genuine progress. Uh, on February 9th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., uh, we're gonna have our very own blood drive on campus in association with ASB and Future Doctors of America. Um, from 9 to 3 p.m., you're gonna have an opportunity uh, to donate your blood um, to save a life. Uh, you can sign up to, to donate at www.westernchristian.org forward slash blood drive. Um, you, you'll, you'll miss out a little bit of class, which will be fun. Uh, you'll get service hours. Um, and parents are welcome too. Uh, anybody in the community that's willing to give, uh, we'd love to have them. Um, this is a huge opportunity, so I'm, I really urge you, don't miss it. Um, yeah, uh, we'd love for you to come. Yeah, so I think, you know, you got to be 15 to donate. Right, right. So then everybody else is sort of wondering, well, okay, you know, one, I'm a little bit scared. So let me just right. sort of comment to that. It takes an hour of your time, right? And I've been thinking a lot about this and, and you know, just as on my last ER shift, there was a patient that was bleeding out and his blood pressure was dropping, his heart rate's dropping. He's literally about to die. His color changes, he turns white and we call for emergency blood from the lab and up comes four to six units of blood. We hang it, we put it in his body and right he goes from like near cardiac arrest to an almost unconscious like he's on he's shaking his eyes are rolling back and he just perks up wow. and you know he becomes awake and alert and all of his vital signs start changing and so you know as a christian as i've been processing you know what does this mean so you know christ gives his body yeah you know shed you know crucified on the cross pierced in his side he bled out for us you know when we take communion we, yeah. you know this is christ's body this is his blood there's nothing more powerful, I think, mm. that we could do as Christians with our bodies mm. at this time than to donate blood. Because seeing physical lives saved and then taking that time to sort of sacrifice of our own time to support our community, uh, when, like, what a powerful yeah. ministry we could have you know, as a church. And then I think too, if you're not in a position where you can give, try and get your family members to donate. Yeah. You know, at your parents, grandparents, you know, talk to your church leaders and see if they'll run a drive too. Yeah. Like, let's kind of, you know, expand upon yeah. this as leaders in our community yeah. to really take some initiative to fix this problem. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thanks, guys.